Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun little video for you today. I ordered a giant amount of elf stuff recently. I haven't placed an order from that website in a really long time, and they were having a really good deal. So I figured that I would do a little haul slash first impressions, and if you stick around to the end, there will be a giveaway for you guys. I did get a really kind of large order, so I'm gonna go ahead and just run through them really quickly. First of all, I picked up another e.l.f. High Definition Powder, HD Powder. I have one of these, but I lost the little powder puff, so the powder was like flying everywhere. I found that the best way to store this is to keep the powder puff in it so it kind of compacts the powder. So I just got another one of these with the puff in it. Next I got an e.l.f. powder brush and I used to use this all the time for my foundation. I don't use it anymore because I just found methods that work better for me but I am interested in using this for setting powder or bronzer and other things like that. It's just a flat top brush and it does have a lot of uses so I picked up another one. The next product is the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation, and this is in the color. It's in the color Porcelain, which I do believe is the lightest color that they have. I'm going to go ahead and open this for you guys because I did kind of want to just give you guys my first impression on it. I haven't used it yet or anything, but I am interested to see the color. Okay, so my first impression, if you can see... It looks very dark for my face. I don't know, I'll have to play around with it. Maybe it's just how it looks like in the pan, but if you can see like match to my body, I'm very fair, so I think this might be a little bit too dark. The texture is very interesting. It's like a cream product, and I guess it goes cream to powder. It does look a bit too dark for my hand. I'm not sure if you can see where I swatched it, yeah. I don't know about this one. Maybe in the summer, <laughs> it's pretty bad that I'm porcelain and it won't fit me, but you know, I mean, e.l.f. doesn't have the biggest shade range, so I'm not like super surprised or anything. The next three products I got were these e.l.f. baked highlighters, and they come in three different colors. Now, I actually got another set of three to give away, so I am going to do like a separate review and giveaway video on these, but I just wanted to try them out. So keep an eye on those, but yeah, I don't know, they look promising. The next thing I got is this matte lip color in the color Tea Rose. I've never tried one of these, but I've always been intrigued, and I'm not a huge fan of like pinks on my lips, but this looks like kind of a nice neutral color. Ooh, this is definitely kind of a cool color. It's like a purpley, kind of like lavender color. That's what it looks like, like a pinky lavender. So if you guys can see, that's the color. I think it maybe is coming off a bit lighter and pinker on camera. It looks like a kind of like dusky pinky purple. It's really pretty actually. I really, I really like this a lot. The next two products I was actually really excited. I haven't heard anything about these because I haven't visited the e.l.f. website in a long time. These are called the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadows and I got two different colors. The first color I got is Sunset, and the second color I got is Naked. You guys can see they're all very metallic if you look at the kind of sheen that that's giving, but they're very pretty. I'll do some swatches here for you. My first impression on these right now, just swatching them on my fingers, is that they're very kind of powdery creamy, if that makes sense. They have really good uh, color pigmentation and payoff, I think. Yeah, they're really pretty, but they're a bit powdery, um, but those are four of the swatches swatched on my finger. And I'll go ahead and just put them on my skin, which would make sense, right? If you guys look right here, those are the swatches for the palette Naked. And they're really pretty, very metallic, like I said. There is a sheen to all of them. I would have liked to have seen a matte shade, but, you know, I think these are all very pretty, versatile colors. The next prism eyeshadow is Sunset and cover up the mirror. I like these colors actually a bit better just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. This one really stood out to me with this bright kind of like purple here and that pink. I think those are really pretty. So, I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, but I feel like these are slightly a bit creamier, less powdery, but just by, like, a hair. But these are the same. They have very good pigmentation, as you can see. I didn't really go over them too much with my fingers. I think, unfortunately, the pink and the purple were really not the standout colors of this palette. The pink is, you know, kind of weak, and I wish the purple was a bit stronger, but I'm loving this kind of gold, copper, kind of... It's more, I guess, of like a deep yellow gold. I think that one is so beautiful. But yeah, overall, I'm just excited for these palettes. Um, I would have liked to have seen some matte shades, but I'm excited to play around and kind of see how they work. Next, I got an HD blush, and I've been wanting to get one of these for so long, and I just never have. When they first came out, they were sold out a lot on the e.l.f. website, and I guess I just kind of lost interest. But the color I got is Headliner. I believe that this was the kind of least um, bright out of the five. They have five colors, but this one was the most kind of neutral wearable, I think. And these things are crazy pigmented. Holy crap you guys. I just literally put like nothing 
on my hand. I squirted like half a pump. That is insane. Look at that color payoff. I'm actually really glad I didn't get any of the other ones because I would never be able to wear them. I think these would be really awesome for like theater makeup or if you're a dancer or you know a performer of some sort because they are insanely pigmented. That's wild. Here's the swatch sheared out a bit if you can see right there. <laughs> Sorry my hand is like literally full of swatches right now. But it's a very pretty color. It's just so pigmented. I feel like it might almost be hard to work with which is I think kind of the general consensus. You just kind of have to apply with a very light hand. So next I got a glitter primer which is nothing too exciting. I just wanted to try this out and see how it works. And then I got an extra lip gloss which I think is so funny. Um, like an ex, like your ex-boyfriend. They all have boy names. I got the shade Michael. It's kind of a pretty like plummy color. So first off you guys I have to say I'm very turned off by the smell. At first it smells good, it smells like very sweet, but then it smells like a chemical sweetness berry scent, and I'm just not, I'm not a fan of that. It's kind of sad because it's a really pretty color. There is the swatch right there. I'm just like a weirdo about lip things, like if they smell bad, I can't wear the Rimmel lipsticks at all because I hate their smell. I just might not be able to wear this. I might give this to like my sister or my mom, which is sad because it's a pretty color. Next thing I got is a small stipple brush and I've been wanting this for a while. Finally got my hands on it. Nothing too special. And the last two things I got was this e.l.f. Why am I saying e.l.f.? You know it's e.l.f. Like, ugh, words. The HD Under Eye Setting Powder and I've heard a lot of good things about this. I do have the Makeup Forever Under Eye Setting Powder so I do want to kind of compare this. I might do like a comparison review for you. The last thing that I'm going to mention is the Maximum Coverage Concealer in Porcelain. And I've been wanting to try this for a while, and finally I got my hands on it. They've been sold out for a while, and I think they're um, sold out still of some of the lighter colors. But I'm interested to see how this works. I'll go ahead and put it on my skin real fast. I'm interested to see if it's light enough for my ghost skin. <laughs> this has a very creamy consistency, which is really nice. And I would say I'm not really sure. It's right there. I It looks a bit orange to me, so I would really have to test it out on my face. But, I don't know. I am very fair, so, you know, not everything works for me that's from the drugstore, which is fine. Um, I might just give it to my mom or something if it doesn't work. So, if you guys have made it to the end of the video, I salute you because I'm sure that was a lot to watch. And to thank you guys for being loyal subscribers and watching and everything, I wanted to do a little giveaway. So, I am going to be giving away two of these Prism eyeshadow palettes, one in Naked and the other in Sunset. These were the ones I was talking about earlier, the same shades. And in addition to that, I am going to be giving away two HD blushes. So, there will be two winners to this giveaway. Each of you will be receiving one of the Prism eyeshadows and one of the HD blushes. So I will leave a complete list of all the rules for this giveaway down below. Just make sure to check the down bar. There will be a whole list of everything. Basically what you're going to have to do is, one, be a subscriber to my channel, obviously. Number two, make sure to like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Number three, put a comment down below as to which item you liked the best or you were most interested in. And these steps are optional, but if you do have an Instagram account, you can follow me for an extra vote. I will just put your name in the drawing twice. My Instagram username will be here somewhere and I'll put it you know down below as well and follow me on Google Plus you guys if you do want an extra vote as well I really don't know how to use it and I'm interested in getting more you know like followers or circlers or whatever I really don't know anything about that uh, social media platform If you guys would follow me that would be great I will add you back as well I just kind of want to get more established on that site because I really don't know how to use it and I would like to learn <laughs> so yeah everything else will be listed in the down bar those are kind of the quick rules that I can think of right now but just check the down bar if you are interested. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! Love.